Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you what I picked up on a recent trip to Bista Village. Bista Village is located dangerously close to my house. It's about a 20 minute drive. Um, so I go quite often just for a little walk around, see what's in, get a bit of inspiration from some of the very expensive shops. <laughs> but recently I went with my friend Tabitha, who I haven't seen in over a year. Um, so it was lovely to see her and she's also a very bad influence with me and shopping so very dangerous <laughs> So I thought I would show you what I picked up because I'm sure most of it is still in stock in the stores there If you're planning a trip at some point I also have some items that are not from Vista Village that I'll show you at the end of the video So let's start with All Saints which is one of my favourite shops to go in at Vista Village And they always seem to have a discount on top of the discount there um, which is always nice at the checkout um, but it's quite funny every time you go in there there'll always be someone on the door that will tell you that there's a discount going on on top of the discount um, so I just find that quite funny so I actually picked up two dresses and one of them doesn't fit which is a bit annoying and I'm a bit worried that they're not going to take a full refund because lots of these shops at Vista Village are now only like giving you store credit which I think is really annoying. But anyway, I picked up this amazing white dress. It's in like a t-shirt style cotton. I'll do a try on clip for you guys because it's gonna be very hard to show you. Um, so the top is just like a tank top and it has this gorgeous lace detailing around the front. So it's kind of got a high neck. And then it goes into this super long maxi dress, which is the perfect length on me. Um, and it's got some interesting side panels going on. This is the thing I love about All Saints. They always have really interesting construction and the fabric is super nice. It's obviously just cotton, but it feels really heavy and like it's a really nice quality. So I really love this. I'm very happy I found it. Um, I also think that I could put a different shirt over the top or t-shirt and tie it in a knot and have the skirt part as just sort of a skirt. Um, so yeah, I think there's a few different ways I could wear this. Now for a long time, All Saints sizes ran quite large. So I've always sized down and I've always been like a size six in All Saints um, when I'm usually a size eight everywhere else. But I picked up this dress in a size six and it's so tight on my chest. I can do it up, but it's very tight. Um, but it's just such a gorgeous dress. It goes into this sort of high low hem at the bottom and there's just buttons all the way down it. It would have looked lovely if it fitted, but it didn't. <laughs> so yeah, that was a shame, but I hopefully I can return it and get my money back. Next up, I went into Calvin Klein underwear. They have two different Calvin Klein shops there now. They have the just standalone clothing and then they have their underwear one. And I think I'm gonna have to send some things back again. Um, the changing rooms, I don't think they were open. Um, but the first thing I picked up was this pair of pajama bottoms, which I love, but the waistband doesn't really sit on my hips and it just keeps popping up and then it looks really baggy. Um, which is so annoying because they're so cute. And they're such a lovely like lightweight cotton. And these were only 18 pounds, which is pretty crazy discount. And they also have a cuff at the bottom, which I don't usually like, but this one's not super tight, so it wouldn't be super annoying. And then I also picked up this bralette which I am again having to send back because it's too tight, um, even though I picked it up in a medium. My chest is just super sensitive to anything that's really tight on it. Um, it just sets off my anxiety straight away. <laughs> so this was in the sale for £18, um, which isn't bad for a bralette from Calvin Klein. And I don't think a large would work for me because it would probably be okay on the ribs, but not in the straps. Um, so that's, again, annoying. But I did get success in the pants department. <laughs> so because I thought the bralette was gonna work, I picked up the matching pants um, to go with the bralette. Um, and they are quite cute to be honest. Um, they're just gray, kind of boy style pants. And I already own quite a few Calvin Klein underwear and I know that they're super comfy and they last a really long time. Um, so I picked up a few of these ones, which are like the sort of smaller bikini one and these are four pounds each which is insane and then i picked up a blue pair these are also four pounds these are all four pounds actually um and a light pink pair these are really handy for wearing underneath like white dresses and 
and something that looks a little bit see-through <laughs> or that you don't want your pants being see-through and then I also picked up one song um, for dresses that need wearing a thong with. So yeah, I think I had a very successful time in that shop and the prices are pretty amazing for the quality of the underwear there. So it's definitely worth a visit there if you are going to Bista Village anytime soon and I have a feeling if you ask you can go and try stuff on so I don't know maybe if you're there and you're far away from Bista so you can't return to return it and um, then maybe ask them if you can try stuff on and then the final purchase is a very naughty purchase and it's from Acne Studios oh I never thought I would own something from Acne Studios I always go in and it's one of those shops I'm like I'd never own anything from here because but I've always loved everything in there. Um, and then this jumper just caught my eye and I know it's not jumper weather right now. I'm currently stood here in like my skimpiest dress because it's quite hot outside. <laughs> but you know, British weather, it is miserable most of the time. So this is my new baby. So it's a mixture of like acrylic, wool and mohair which is a nice mixture for me because it means it won't be super itchy. Like I can hold it on my neck and it's not irritating it that much. Whereas when a jumper is 100% mohair, it can be super itchy. And also the fibers don't like come off super easily because some mohair jumpers, the fibers just everywhere. And then wearing contact lenses, it's not the best. So yeah, I just absolutely fell in love with this jumper. It's, it's just so me. Tabitha was like, this is you in a jumper. See, she's very naughty. She knows how to make me want to buy things. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I can't wait to wear it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. They have a few other sizes available. I don't know if they have a small anymore because I think I got the last one. So yeah, that is my first ever Acme Studios purchase and I'm very, very happy with that. And now I have a few things that I wanted to show you that I've picked up recently. Some of which I'm not keeping and are going back, um, but let me just show you these dungarees because I think you are going to love them. <laughs> so I was recently looking at my Pull and Bear app because I was just looking at what's new in um, and I just fell in love with these. They are the most gorgeous dungarees. They're super relaxed style and in the most perfect summer and spring like colours. This pink shade is like my absolute favourite shade of pink. I'm just, I just can't believe it to be honest. I don't usually get this excited about dungarees, um, but let me know which colour you guys prefer because I'm currently wanting to keep both, which is silly, but also I don't know how often you find amazing dungarees like this. So yeah, I'm very excited to start styling these. I feel like they're gonna be so easy to style and just chuck on with a t-shirt and some trainers, like I'm sorted. Such an easy outfit. I then ventured into the dangerous space of and other stories sale. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to want to keep this, um, but it's the most gorgeous fluffy cream jumper and I literally live in cream jumpers in the winter and autumn. I can't remember how much this was reduced to, but it's got a nice chunky neckline and it's got this really interesting peplum bit in the middle which I think is super flattering and it kind of gets you out of that dilemma of when you're wearing jeans if you tuck the jumper in or do you have it out because you're obviously going to have this one out um, so again making dressing super easy because you just chuck it over anything and I feel like it would also look really nice with dresses because it's got that sort of slightly cinched in waist and then flows out I did have to pick this up in a medium because they didn't have any other sizes um, but I actually quite like the way it's pretty like chunky oversized. I also picked up this other cardigan but I don't think I'm going to be keeping this because it's just not, I don't see it fitting into my wardrobe as easily as that one. I do love, love, love the collar though. It's just so gorgeous. It's very sea New York. They do also do it in a cream which I think would be a lot nicer but that wasn't in the sale at the moment. Um, so I might wait until that comes into the sale. So yeah, I won't be keeping that one, but I thought I'd show you because it's super lovely. And then this dress was actually the main piece that caught my eye. I think it was probably an Instagram advert or something that made me click onto it. Very crafty. 
works every time. I've seen quite a few people on Instagram wearing this actually and every time I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And the print is so gorgeous. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it because it's a mini dress and I don't tend to go for mini dresses all that often, but I love that it's got long sleeves so in the summer it will cover my shoulders and my arms nicely and protect me from the sun. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on again and see what I think. It's got this tie detailing in the middle so you can cinch it in or have it as a more oversized fit. Then the final thing I picked up from And Other Stories was this dress, which again, I don't think I'm gonna keep, but I love it. Um, I just don't need it in my wardrobe. I don't think I could wear it as many times as the other dress, for example. Um, but it's just this gorgeous, I think it's viscose, or is it modal? It's a mixture of modal and tensile fabric. So a pretty sustainable fiber. And um, I find modal though, always feels a bit funny. And when it gets wet, it takes, like it's really obvious that it's wet, but it's a gorgeous shirt dress and it's really flattering because it cinches in at the middle. Um, I'll show you a little try on clip at the side so you can see what it looks like on again in one of my favorite colors. I love light pink with red hair. I just think it looks so soft and pretty and yeah. Finally, I was very kindly gifted a beautiful dress and a swimsuit from the Australian brand Bondi Born. I've had a swimsuit from them before and it's such a good swimsuit. It like really holds you in and nothing feels like it's gonna pop out. Um, swimwear is just such a tricky one for me to find ones that I actually like, but this brand smashes it every time and they have such a good sustainable ethos. So they kind of let me choose a dress this time as well. And it's just the coolest dress. I love the silhouette of this. It's super simple and elegant and it has details around the hips. So around the hips, it sort of flows straight off your hips and I love that look so much. So yeah, I'll try that on for you guys. Um, and it's obviously got a very open back so I can show off my back and get it nice and sunburnt. <laughs> but I can see myself wearing this if I ever have a, a really nice summer party, this will be the absolutely perfect dress to wear. I thought I'd show you the swimsuit that I also picked from Bondi Born. It's in this amazing sagey green shade, which I think goes really well with my hair color and it's just the most beautiful sort of square neck shape. I might try it on for you guys just so you can see the top half um, and how it fits because it is a really gorgeous, gorgeous fit. So there we have it. That is everything I picked up from Vista Village and that I found online recently. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been to Vista Village recently or if you're planning a trip. It's definitely still good to go in the morning um, or very late at night because they're open until like eight, I think. So if you get there at like six, it's often pretty quiet still. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.